What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up some brand new 2022 Hot Wheels A Case cars. And we'll start it off with Mighty K from the HW Metro series. This is a brand new casting. It's kind of in honor of Ryu, who passed away recently. He did design this car. Very, very cool. New for 2022. You can see right there. Let's go ahead and open this up right here. We've got a cool little one. This one is kind of like a, a Japanese pickup truck, I would say. Very popular in Japan. These little tiny pickups. A lot of people are importing them into North America just because they're kind of like funky and fun to see. So you can see this one. We've got uh, Osada on the back right there for Ryu and we've got a some little writing on the side right there and this little like kind of push bar type thing on the front end. It's kind of a cute looking little pickup. Baja Bone Shaker from the Baja Blazers series. This is being a casting we've seen before with many different recolors. And now we've got this one with a kind of a matte finish red paint job. It's almost like a satin finish to it. We've got the obviously big engine, the grill right there that has that skull on there, classic of the Bone Shaker. And we've got some writing on the side of it right here. I'm not sure exactly. This is like Baja Bone Shaker, I think, right there on the side. We've got big wheel, wheel tire combination right here, big fat mutters on this one a spare wheel tire on the back right there in a chrome wheel very interesting casting nice to see this one in a new recolor 55 chevy and this one is from the chevy bel air series it's interesting to see a series from hot wheels in 2022 after a specific car it's usually just after a series or a, a brand but never a specific vehicle so that's kind of an interesting touch to this one this one also is the mainline variation of the super truck for the 2022 Hot Wheels A case. Let's go ahead and open this one up right here. I would have wished to get in that uh, treasure, super treasure hunt, but we do have the mainland variation and this one does look fantastic. I love the glossy paint to this one. It's even got some sparkle to it as you can see right there. Big chrome wheel on the back, little uh, smaller ones on the front, but very uh, specific to this design of hot rod kind of style vehicle. Big chrome grill on the front end of this one as well for this 55 Chevy. And then we got the chrome on the back, chrome underneath. But overall, it's a really cool looking car. Mine cart from the H. HW Screen Time series, we've got a new color of this one right here. And if you're a Minecraft fan, then you definitely like collecting these mine carts. We've seen many different colors of them. This one, it's got some like kind of like a dual tone color to it. And then it's got like this little opening right here, which the guy can go into. I'm not a big Minecraft guy myself, but if you are, you'll probably like this and you'll probably put this one into your collection. 1976 Greenwood Corvette from the HW. W Contoured series. It's an interesting new series name. And this one, I've always been a fan of this casting. I think it looks super cool because it's basically a wide body Corvette, as you can see right here. So it's obviously made for racing, but you can just see how cool the wide body look on this one is. Uh, we got the nice staggered wheel set up, the bigger ones on the rear, the smaller ones on the front. We got a side exhaust and it comes out from both sides, as you can see right there. And look at this wide body rear end right there. You can just see that's your standard Corvette. And then there's that wide body look to it. And this is a C3 Corvette. And I've always been a fan of the C3 Corvettes. I think it looks very exotic looking for an American sports car. I absolutely love them. Bubble Matic from Xperia Motors. And if you're not familiar with this casting, this one you can actually use to blow bubbles with. So we've got this little like bubble car right here and it's got this bubble top but this little piece that just flips up right here and then you can dip this into like the bubble liquid and you can blow and it will blow bubbles so my kids have a lot of fun with the bubble matic I'll definitely be giving this one to them as well to play around with but other than that that is your bubble matic car Porsche 935 from the HW turbo series this one in red and this is a new for 2022 
into casting and I love this one. I think it's one of the coolest looking Porsche race cars right here. Big wing on the back. I love the kind of like modern yet retro design to it. Even the front end, you can see it right there. It's kind of throwback to like older Porsche cars, but it definitely looks very, very modern. The wheel tire combination on here, I think it fits it as well. Looks really, really good. And I'm loving the color and design of this one. I can't wait to see this one come out in more recolors. Fast gas and gonna need some fuel for that Porsche race car. So we've got this one from the HW Metro series and this one is delivering. Here we go, let's look on the side. Racing fuel right there as you can see. So this one, it's definitely made to deliver that racing fuel for those Porsche race cars and whatever other race cars that you have. And so much chrome on this car right here. And then we got like these kind of like gray siding and then the painted front end right there. But it's definitely a cool Hot Wheels fantasy car. And this one is good to have in the collection. New for 2022, tuned casting. This one is the tuned Volkswagen Golf MK1 from the tuned series, of course. And this one, it's definitely a cute little car. I mean, most of the tuned out cars they're kind of cute it's kind of weird to say that but they definitely are and they've done a pretty good design on this one you can see how they've squished it together so we got the raised up right there and then we got that really tiny front end on it and this squished kind of uh, siding like the car looks squished this way right here. But nonetheless, they've done a great job. I think it looks kind of cool. I think it's fun to play around with. It's definitely not gonna be like my number one for a collectible car, but it's still, the tuned cars, they're kind of fun. And almost as tiny as that tuned car, the 85 Honda City Turbo 2 right here from the HW Turbo Series. This one is not tuned, but it definitely looks like it is. It's definitely a tiny car. We've seen this one done in many different recolors now even as a premium car I believe it came in one set and when it first came out I thought it was really cool I thought it was an awesome car now that they've just recolored it so many times and it's just to me just a tiny little car but it does look like a little race car it looks like it'd be fun to drive in real life really tiny wheel tire combination on there that spoiler there we've got the sunroof on the top of it what do you guys think of this Honda City Turbo 2? Car de Asada from Fast Foodie and I'm always making fun of this car it's just kind of fun of a car it's essentially a taco and you can see we've got like the limes on there this is your your taco type thing right here and we've got like like chips or something on the back of it but we've seen this one in several different recolors and I, I don't know it's definitely not one that I would put on display or anything like that but it is definitely cool and it's it's nice that they're uh, making cars that are for a wider variety of audiences. So there we go, Car de Asada. New for 2022, we've got the Roadster Bite from HW Speed Team. And this one kind of reminds me of Crescendo, another Hot Wheels fantasy casting. So that one was really fast down the peak time racing track. So we'll definitely be putting this one on the track and seeing how fast this one can go down it. It looks like it's got those like nice track style tire wheel combination on there. We've got the two-tone color so we got that nice yellow on the bottom and it looks like like a greenish on the top right here the engine right there center seat position and we got the chrome pipes that come out the side of it and there we have all of the cars that we've opened up today in the comment section down below let me know which one was your favorite don't forget to hit that like follow subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye bye